Hi YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about the camera functions, all the camera functions um, of the Samsung Galaxy Beam. So um, the Galaxy Beam has a front-facing camera, which is a 1.3 megapixel, and on the back it has a 5 megapixel camera with a LED flash. Let's get into focus. Um, the camera is pretty uh, good, I would say. Uh, I made some sample shots, which I'm going to uh, put into a slideshow, so you can uh, so you can exactly see uh, what the quality of the camera has to offer. Um, it has uh, HD videos, so 720, and uh, all in all, it's actually a pretty decent camera. For uh, it has a pretty decent quality for that uh, type of camera. 5 megapixels is not that much, but uh, I can show you what you can all do with that. So, let's get started. Basically, that's the function, that's the menu of the camera function. Um, you have here, you can uh, swap from uh, front camera to uh, from back to front, and vice versa, this one here. Uh, here you have the flash, off, auto, or on. Um, the thing uh, which is important to know is that uh, after, I think it was 15%, uh, when you have the flash on, uh, then it will switch off uh, automatically. After 15% of battery usage, will it go lower than 15, it will switch off. But there is a trick. Um, if you want to keep it alive, the flash on the back, you just go on settings and oh, what is it? accessibility and assistive light so you can just use this like that uh, even if it goes below 15 percent you can still use the flash with the camera and uh, well also with, uh, with the video function so let's go back to the camera um, so that was the flash. Um, on the bottom here, you have uh, all the options. You have uh, shortcuts, like which gives you a list of all the camera functions. Um, then, uh, which are all here as well. Uh, you have the self-portray. Uh, that means you can make a picture of yourself with the front-facing camera. Uh, you have a uh, flash. As, um, as it's uh, here, it's the same. Then uh, you have the shooting mode, you have the single shot, the smile shot, panorama. Panorama, for example, is uh, if you want to make a panorama shot, like if you have a wider angle. So you don't need an extra app for that. Uh, you have action shot for uh, things which are moving, uh, moving objects like animals. And you have a cartoon shot as well, which turns everything into a cartoon. So let's go back to single shot. Okay, then uh, you have the scene mode. At the moment I chose none. So you have portrait, uh, landscape, night. Night actually is the one which uh, brightens uh, the picture the most. So uh, if you have a dark background, you can use night. Uh, you have sports, party, indoor, beach, snow, sunset, dawn, fall, firework, text, if you need to make a photo of a text, candlelight, and backlight. Backlight, if you choose this one, then uh, if you make the picture, it will automatically use the flash. Um, what I found out after making millions of pictures um, in the night, the best function you want to go with is uh, not the night function, not this one here, um, neither the candlelight. Uh, the best one I found out uh, was the firework. Uh, that one gives you the gives you minimum minimum amount of noise, and uh, in my opinion, it's the best one. So let's go out. 
Uh, you have the exposure. You can put it up like uh, the, the light intensity. Well, it's the exposure, the light intensity is the ISO. Uh, you can put it up to uh, 2 plus 2, as you can see here. And you can put it lower, 2 minus 2. Then uh, you have the focus mode, autofocus or macro. I tried uh, several pictures today and um, with macro you can go, um, so when you have an object, like this monster here, um, you can go close to uh, 3 inches. Uh, with macro you can go a little bit closer uh, to around uh, 2.5 inches. Uh, if you go too close, then uh, it will get uh, too blurry and it won't make the, the picture properly. What else we have? Um, we have the timer. Um, two to ten seconds you have here. And you have the effects, uh, the non-effect, the negative, gray and uh, sepia. And you have the resolution. Uh, you have the 5 megapixel here. And you have the widescreen, the 4 megapixel, which gives you obviously a wider picture. Uh, and well, it goes below that as well. Then uh, you have uh, the white balance, the auto, daylight, cloudy, um, incandescence, and uh, the fluorescent. Um, I found out that the, basically the auto is okay, but uh, for example, if you make uh, several pictures in the night, the daylight uh, will be better because it, uh, it gives you less noise as well. So you might uh, want to consider that. Then you have ISO, you can put it up to 400 or auto. And you have the metering the center weighted, the spot, and the matrix. Then you have the blink detection, the guidelines, and the image quality. Um, I'm because I made a lot of pictures, I can actually say that uh, there is not really that big difference between super fine and fine. So I would just stay with fine. And uh, you have a GPS tag. If you want to take your pictures. Um, storage, memory card or phone. And you can reset all the functions to, to the default. On the right, you have uh, here. You can see that I'm storing my pictures on the on the card. Um, here you have uh, you can choose between the camera mode, which I have at the moment, and if you go down, you have the video camera function, and that's the shutter uh, button to make a picture. Uh, it takes a while. It's not the fastest. Uh, but it's okay, I would say. Uh, and here you can also like uh, focus if you just tap on an object. And uh, down here you have the gallery where you can check out all your pictures. Then I will show you the video function. Here you have uh, three functions. It's a uh, normal. Uh, you can limit it for MMS if you want to say if you want to send MMS. Um, self recording, so you, you record yourself. It just uh, it just switches to the front camera. And uh, the flash, auto like off and on. You don't have auto here. And the options. You have edit shortcuts as before. Those are the, all the options um, uh, which which you have as well here. 
Um, well, flash, I just spoke about it. Uh, recording mode, you have normal, which is the same as above here. Exposure, you can also go up to plus two or minus two. Um, timer, same as uh, with the camera function. The effects are the same as well, like non, uh, negative, grayscale, scale, sepia. Then you have the resolution, which is, uh, well, 720 HD, and it can go lower than that. Though. Then you have the white balance, auto, daylight, cloudy, and uh, the other two. Um, video quality, again, super fine, fine, or normal. And the guidelines, as before, I showed. And the storage, and you can put it all to reset. Uh, what I found out, um, when you make uh, videos in the night, it's better if you use um, daylight, actually, because it gives you, well, less uh, noisy pictures. Then I will show you my, well, that's about the camera. If you have any questions, you can always ask me. Just uh, send me a private message or you can post it in the comment box. Um, I will show you quickly my camera apps. The thing is that uh, the camera doesn't have a zoom function itself, but if you have this app here, Camera Zoom FX, it gives you a zoom function, but, but um, that's my girlfriend screaming. <laughs> Can you hold on? Um, so we have this monster here, and uh, I show you the zoom function. As you can see, it goes a bit on the right, so it's uh, not that, well, not that useful. So if you want to zoom, you need to know that you have to hold it a bit on the on the right side. No. And uh, I have Pro HDR as well, which actually makes pretty cool uh, pictures, uh, HDR style. So um, if you want to check this app out, it's actually not bad. Um, then uh, I have the fast burst. If you want to make a lot of shots in a short time, in a couple of seconds, there is the paper camera. You have a cartoon mode, which is pretty cool because you have different kinds of cartoon modes, which can be pretty fun. And uh, Photof is for panorama shots, but as you have already a panorama function, well, you don't really need it. Um, those are two special apps, which I found. Uh, this is an app if you, it has a kind of stealth mode. That means if you want to make a picture of something and uh, somebody on the back can't know or should not know that uh, you're making current a picture or a video, it will, uh, uh, if you have this one, then it will, uh, you will have a black screen. So it looks like you don't make a picture or a video, but in fact you do one. Um, and there is hidden eye in case uh, somebody is spying on your phone, somebody is checking out your phone. If you have this app, then uh, if the person um, types in the wrong password or or the um, if it tries to unlock the phone, then it makes a picture of the intruder. Um, so then when you log into your phone, you see exactly who tried to uh, use your phone. That's pretty cool actually too. And that's it. Um, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.